Is road schooling going to break the bank for our family? The answer is a resounding no. And here's why, coming right up. After 10 years of homeschooling, school was becoming a drag. We want our kids to embrace the lifelong adventure of learning. So we decided to sell our comfortable suburban home and make the world our classroom. Joe, Trisha, Hannah, Sarah, Gideon, Izzy, and Penny Dog. We are doing life deliberately. It does not have to cost you an arm and a leg to educate your kids while you travel full time. And I'm gonna give you 10 tips and tricks to help you save while road schooling your kids. Number one, museum passes. That's right, museum passes. Now, museums can be incredibly expensive to go to. Did you know that museums often participate in what's called reciprocity? Reciprocity simply means that they belong to an association or an organization of museums. Now, what often happens is if there's reciprocal memberships that go with the museum pass that you purchase, then you can get in at other museums in that organization for steep discounts or maybe even free. It simply requires you checking before you buy that initial museum pass. If you do some really good research, you can find where the most inexpensive museum passes are in that organization buy a membership to that museum and enjoy the benefits of the entire organization. So just a little bit of research can pay off big. And here is a pro tip. Ask friends and family to buy gifts of museum passes for birthdays and holidays. It'll save you big time and give you some great experiences as a family. In that same line of thinking are zoo passes. Zoos often participate in a national organization which allows you to enjoy reciprocity at these different zoos across the country. So again, do some research, find out where the best prices are for an initial zoo pass, and then you can enjoy the benefits of reciprocity for the entire organization as you travel. And again, they make really good gifts. Getting your family outdoors and enjoying the most beautiful spots that our nation has to offer is so affordable. You can purchase a national park pass and it'll get you into any of the national parks in the United States. This pass costs about 80 to $90, unless, and here's the pro tip, you have a fourth grader in your family. Every Kid in a Park is a program that our National Parks Systems runs in order for every fourth grader and their families to get into the United States National Parks for free. So for an entire year, while you have a fourth grader in your family, you can get into the National Parks for free. You get to see geysers, you can go hiking, you can go biking, you can go camping, you can go boating, you can go paddle boarding. There are so many different ways to enjoy our nation's national parks. So check out Every Kid in a Park or purchase your family's national park pass. Another way that you can get outdoors and have a great time and it be very affordable is staying at the state parks. Now whether you're in Alaska or Florida or anywhere in between, our country has some phenomenal state parks and they're typically very inexpensive. And one of the things that we love about them the most is that they typically are very spread out in the slots that you stay in. So you get to be surrounded by nature, you get to have some space, but you can still be very close to all the amenities of a city. It's amazing. These state parks have biking and hiking trails. They often have boating, fishing. There's so many ways that you can enjoy the great outdoors simply by staying in a state park. So check out the state parks in the area where you are traveling. Another very simple way to save money when you are traveling for road school is packing lunches. Rather than eating out wherever you find yourself, whether you are in a state park or in a city somewhere exploring, just take a meal with you, take a few snacks, and you will save so much money and allow yourself 
the room to be able to maybe enjoy some activities that you wouldn't be able to afford otherwise. Another really inexpensive way that you can educate your kids without spending a lot of money is by using an app called Audible. Audible is an audiobook app that's run by Amazon and for a low monthly fee you can get a credit, you can go in and scroll and see the different books that they have available and you can learn about whatever topic you are studying as you travel. So for us how this has worked in the past is as we were exploring the Lewis and Clark Trail we pulled up the book Undaunted Courage by Stephen Ambrose. And as we were traveling from one location to the next, we would listen to Undaunted Courage in the car. It was an easy way for all of us to learn about the Lewis and Clark expedition as a family and to be educated in between these stops where we can go and see where these men and Sacagawea explored. So check out Audible. I'll put the link in the description below. Another really great inexpensive way to educate your family is by going to interpretive centers. Now again, because we did the Lewis and Clark Trail, we were able to enjoy a string of interpretive centers that are run by state or federal government and they're really great museums. Oftentimes they're free or they're very inexpensive to get into. And you can spend anywhere from an hour to a few hours going through the exhibits that they offer. When we were on the Lewis and Clark Trail, we got to see remakes of the keelboat that Lewis and Clark and the Corps of Discovery used. We went into replicas of the different ports that they built and stayed in. We were able to read different plaques and exhibits as we went to these different interpretive centers. And again, it just brings some life into this history that we're learning where you can see life-size replicas of these different things as well as traveling through the area where these men and women would have actually explored, seeing the mountains that they had to traverse up and down, going down the rivers that they themselves explored. So pairing those experiences with the very awesome interpretive centers that are available is a great way to enhance your learning experience for not very much money. And don't underestimate the value of your local library. So if you maintain a library card in your area of domicile, you can enjoy the benefits of your library while you travel. You can use ebooks, you can use audiobooks, you might even be able to check out movies and documentaries all for free if you have any type of smartphone, tablet, laptop, or Kindle. This is a free and easy way for you to be able to access a wealth of knowledge without having to spend any money at all. Another inexpensive and fun way to learn is by using a Netflix or an Amazon Prime membership where you can have access to tons of different documentaries. Simply by looking up the topic that you're hoping to learn about, you're sure to bring up a ton of different options of things that you can learn. Anywhere from TED Talks to Ken Burns films, to National Geographic puts out some great stuff and there's just so many different organizations that put together movies and documentaries and films that allow us to learn without hardly spending any money at all. So check out Amazon Prime and Netflix for documentaries. And last but not least, if you maintain that library card from your area of domicile, you may be able to take some courses for free. For example, our daughter is really into photography and she got a brand new camera several months ago. We want her to learn how to use it properly. So I looked up Yale courses through our local library and I was able to enroll her in a free course where she could get a certificate at the end of it for an introduction to photography. These Gale courses also include some more specific, higher level classes, so it's not just introductory courses. So definitely look at your local library and ask them if they have any free courses available to their patrons. You might be surprised what you find. What other resources do you know of that help make road schooling more affordable? We'd love to learn from you as well, so put those in the comments below. And if you found today's video to be helpful, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe. We're looking so forward to sharing our next learning journey with you. Thank you so much for spending your very precious time with us. We look forward to seeing you again soon.